up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is a 1971 Chevelle. This one here has got a built 454 under the hood. Got the aluminum radiator. This car here should be fast. She's geared very low. And she's set up like a hot rod. Check out those detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping for cars like this and everything on the lot. Every Monday we update with new inventory. So be sure to go over there, hit subscribe, share, hit like. We'll keep these videos rocking your way. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off in any car, we look around, point out on any kind of flaws that I can find. Um, so we're gonna look in here. You can see that they put some cheaper carpet in here. You got the Dynamat below it. Maybe not the exact brand, but same material. Steering wheel on this one's a little older. It's got some spots. The window right here's got a nice little crack in it. Coming across the dash, a little faded, but uh, I don't see any cracks or anything. Got the shifter way up high. Easy access, I assume. Your door panel over there is missing the armrest. Headliner actually looks pretty good. Back corners over there are a little wrinkly. And your package tray, he just kind of threw up a piece of carpet back there. Looking around in the back seat, different seat than the front. That's more of a cloth mix material. I uh, got some switches up here, but I don't think they're actually hooked up to anything. So there's a fuel pump and cutting everything off nothing happens um it may be on a fan there's a external fans under the hood we've got aftermarket gauges here too let's go ahead and start her up it starts up pretty good the blower motor none of this stuff works i was trying it earlier it would not cut on the wipers are not hooked up to anything showing 93,000 miles of course that's hard to stand behind when everything's been changed out place your bets on the horn though we're getting ready to try it out you can see the door panel over here is missing the armrest too this is more of a strict car that can be driven on the road it's very loud very loud exhaust and what we're going to do is we're going to take it down the road drive up there for a little bit and I'm gonna come back and we're just gonna do a walk around a little bit different video than normal let's go ahead and try that horn Did you place your bets nothing blinkers popping up on the right side I think the bulbs out over here yeah it's not cutting on okay let's hit the road and we'll see how she runs and drives all right guys getting ready to take off here so yeah, like I said, we're gonna head up the road. We'll probably get a few shots. I'm definitely gonna come back and get the undercarriage shot, but we're gonna get right back to here to doing the walk around, picking out the flaws. So let's go ahead and see how she drives. Very loud. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Manual brakes on this one. A lot of guys do that for the vacuum reason, especially when they set them up for the track. A lot easier to two foot this one. I heard the idle start to come down. Waiting on some traffic to get out of here. I'm gonna do 
is shoot up this way, get out of the way of traffic and everything. Now I felt that left pull as soon as we pulled out of the lot there.
to customize any of the cars that you pick up from Maple Motors or you just live around town, I suggest checking out Brian's Motorsports. He does all my personal rides, pretty much everything that we do at the lot. He takes care of them, wheels, tires, lifts, uh, just anything suspension wise, definitely the guy to go to. So check that out, Brian's Motorsports. I'm going to go ahead and pull back in the lot here. We'll see you here in just a moment. Back at the lot, now we're gonna be picking out the flaws, pointing out any kind of issues I could find, looking for rust, chips, scratches, whatever there is, I'll tell you about it. So this car here is very fast. That was a really exciting test drive. Very, very loud too. That's why I took the uh, back roads. Let's go ahead and get started here. The trunk is open, so that's where we're gonna start. I got a magnet tag on the back. The bumper on this one has pitting on it. You can see little spots. Pretty much all over the bumper. Faded over here in this area. And down that lower portion. A few little spots there, a little rust by the tag. You can see on the back here, you got some cracks and stuff in the paint. The paint job is not the best. Seal in the trunk is in great shape. Not bad at all. A little glue there from where they put the uh, seal in. Car apparently used to be yellow. I see lots of yellow. Got a fuel cell back here. Got a spot that's been patched up right there. Got a stink bug comes with it. No charge. Let's see where that's been redone. Come on, lighting. Here we go. Looking up under here. Pretty solid in the package tray. It's like a brand new fuel cell, too. It's in good shape. Most of them are all sucked down in. This side looks pretty good. A little patch down in here. Was that fiberglass? Yeah. Okay. Trunk lid itself. It's got some thick paint on it. But it's solid. Coming on down with that. See some cracks right around your lot. Lots of wax. I used to take a toothbrush to that kind of stuff. I put a Yinko sticker on here. 
All right, let's run down the lower portions, back to mid sections, end on the top. We'll finally end by starting it, and uh, look at all this rubber. And listening to the motor at the end. Man, did we do that? I know he's getting down, but God, I didn't do a box burnout. <laughs> Light scratches there. Chip right here. Nice weld wheels, nice and shiny. Doors had some work in the corner. You see some Bondo sticking up in there. We'll chip down here, chip down here. Solid up here. Got some chips in the jam there. Picked up some rocks right there, chipped all the paint. Up here you got some more chips. On that bumper you got some as well, exposed metal. The lights got some light cracking going on in them. Lots of extra wax left on this car. Chips up in the front, that doesn't line up just right. The paint jobs just, it's got all kinds of light scratches and stuff in it. I'm trying to zoom in on it, it's not popping up like it should. more wax wiping that off light scratching there it is back windows in good shape trim looks good this whole back portion here and the roof actually look like they're in pretty good shape anything it's a little faded like a little hazy the pillar looks good here mirrors been hit with a few rocks or something it's pitted up they painted over that seal whoever buffed it hit that a little too hard there didn't they also got a chip right here up on top in front of the door let's go ahead and check this front bumper out here the front grill looks like they painted the insert on the grill red usually that's black your bezels a little bit of pitting still okay bumper in the front got pitting as well a lot of wax golly Wax bomb. Got a chip here. Pitting on your uh, marker lights. Of course, that's not lining up just like it should either. Down this side. Flip that over. Light scratch. And down here. Okay, so this fender is kind of pushed out from the bottom. It's pushed out this way on the front. And the back's kind of tucked in in the top here. Look at the gap. We got some chips. Keep on running this lower portion. Chips there. Like a little hole. Another one. That's definitely been worked on there in the corner. And the back here. Right there on the inner lip. Up and over. Eh, I got a little bit more rubber. I guess she's posy. I could have told you that when this car was all over the road and you got on it. Definitely an adrenaline rush. Got some chips in the back running down the midsection. Some more chips here and there. Spot in the paint. Stuff here. Right there in the middle of the door. Pitting on your door handle. On top of the paint there. Chip here. Looking up here. That looks like some grease. That'll come off. Wax. Wax crazy. 
Front windshield looks good. Chrome looks good. A little ding there though. Your pillar's nice. Trim around your windows look good. They still paint it on this side on the rubber. Your roof, not too bad. Back panel back here looks all right. It's on top of the paint there, on top of the paint. It almost looks like a sap or something. A little thin there, they burn the edge. Back window trim looks good and the trunk looks good. All right, guys. Now let's go ahead and check this interior out. We'll get her started up one last time. And we'll conclude this video. Let's see what this door panel's talking about. So you can definitely tell the door panel has been kicked a few times getting in and out. You can see the screw they threw in there. You need an armrest. And of course, this was always an issue that, that would always flake off. Looks like they put some weather stripping in here. See the Bondo right there in the corner. Let's see what the bottom of this door looks like. Got a little rust. Let's see. It's yellow, or it used to be yellow. A little rust in the corner there. Jams, not bad. Trim, faded, scratched. Carpet. They just put some regular cheap carpet in here. Nothing special, it's ripped up a little bit in spots. Best thing they did was put that mat under it. it. Causes a lot, or gets rid of a lot of road noise. Your back panels are not too bad. They just need some uh, window cranks. Back seat's not bad. Package tray, I mean, literally if you straightened out that carpet, it would uh, look 10 times better. You put some glue down, cut some holes, put some speakers. I think there was two speakers already in there. Back here on your headliner, it's wrinkly. It's got a hole right there. You can see a mechanic got a hold of that and tried to uh, do a headliner. That's right there sagging too on that trim piece. The light is new and working. And the rest of the headliner looks pretty good, really. It's just those back corners. Your visors, you could use a little attention. See how kind of wrinkly they are. Front seat pretty good it's not all ripped up of course across the dash is actually pretty good a little bit of work some exhaust quieting her down had a column shift of course now they got it on this sitting way up in the air you could get another one and lower it back down it's all a personal preference there let's go ahead and start her up kind of let that fuel pump cut on a second Hit it.
comes down real easy. The lock's pretty good. It does have chips and scratches on the hood. Yeah, it doesn't line up very well. It is an aftermarket. you watching be sure to check out the 100 detailed pictures we provide at maplemotors.com we have financing and shipping on cars just like this and we get all different styles of chevelles some that are more drag some that are more show and some that are just driver we try to stick with just driver cars here but we get a little bit of everything we've been doing this almost 40 years we're all family I encourage you to hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. I uh, do thank you for watching, and I'll see you later, guys. Hit me up.